So welcome again for continuation. We are doing longitudes and latitudes. Longitudes and latitudes. And in this case, one has to handle the shortest distance. The shortest distance between two places or between places. Places which lie or places lie on opposite longitudes. Places lie on opposite longitudes. The shortest distance. The shortest distance. So we can consider. the distance between between point X which is 60 degrees north 60 degrees north and 120 degrees west and another place and another place Y, which is sixty north and sixty degrees to the east, sixty degrees to the east, sixty degrees to the east. Therefore, let me sketch these two distances, these two places, prime meridian equator, then along 60 degrees north, we have 120, which gives us plus x, and 60 in the east, which gives us y. Therefore, considering these two places, you realize that between x and y, we have 180 degrees, which means that when we follow the longitude through where x is, we will just strike through the other longitude until we get where y is. 120 degrees on the west and the other one 60 degrees on the east and down to y this means that through the pole we are just going along a great circle we are just going through a great circle whereby the distance depends in longitude that is first of all we can have from the center these angles identified such that we have alpha here and theta here therefore you find <coughs> from this equator up to the pole we just turn through an angle of 90. Therefore, from 0 degrees equator, the highest we can turn is 90 degrees. Then we start turning again downwards. We start turning again downwards. Therefore, because from here up to the other hemisphere, we have 180 degrees, then we can talk of from equator up to the north hemisphere, having 90 degrees. This means that now from where x is up to the north, up to the north pole, we have an angle which is the difference between 
60 and 90 because the highest we can turn is 90 and we have already gone through 60 so that we may reach x then you will find the angle remaining here the angle remaining here is 30 and again the angle on the other side because we are turning from 90 up to 60 the angle we have gone through is again 30 therefore you realize if like through the pole we are making an arc we are making an arc whereby following the axis of the arc we have 30 degrees here and 30 degrees on the other side making an angle of 60 therefore from x up to y through the north pole we can use a great circle whose longitude or latitude difference is that therefore we can say this through the north pole or through the great circle through the north pole through the north pole of the earth through the north pole of the earth we can say the distance in kilometers will be 60 over 360 2 pi r because it is a great circle because it is a great circle 60 by 2 by 60 360 multiplied by 7 and this gives us 6,673.3 kilometers. This is the distance when we follow the pole, the route through the pole. So from X through the pole and down to Y. We have said this angle difference is calculated by taking 60 which we have already covered here then we are remaining with 30 so that we may reach 90 degrees then now another 30 so that we may turn from 90 degrees up to 60 so we have 30 here, 30 here making a 60 so that is the the distance when we fall when we follow the path through the north the path through the north hemisphere now we can talk of the distance along the parallel latitude whereby we will talk of a longitude difference of 180. Therefore, along the parallel latitude, along the parallel latitude, along the parallel latitude, we can talk of an angle difference of from 120 up to 60 on the other side of prime meridian, we we'll find 180 degrees. So 180 out of 360. 2 pi then r 63.70 cosine of 60 because we are on latitude 60 cosine of 60 therefore along the small circle we will have 180 over 360 2 pi r cosine of the latitude where they are they are at latitude 60 therefore we will have 180 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 22, multiplied by 63, 70, cosine of 60, then we divide 360 by 7, and this will give us 10,000, 0, 10 kilometers. 10,010 kilometers. This shows us that when we follow the parallel latitude, yes, we will get to Y, but the distance which is shorter, is between x and y when we follow the route along the poles. Therefore, we can just conclude that we can just conclude and say this that uh, the shortest distance, the shortest distance between two places lying on opposite longitudes is the distance through the poles through the poles this means if we 
have a place here. Such that this is A, this is B, this is Q, this is P. We are talking of the distance along the poles, which means from A to B along this parallel latitude is longer than when we follow the North Pole and down to B. If this longitude and this other longitude are opposite. Are opposite. Therefore, opposite longitude are if, for example, this is 80 degrees in the west, then this 80 degrees in the west is opposite to 100 degrees on the other side. 100 degrees in the east. Such that the echo between them is 180. We'll just go straight along that path. So the distance between A and B is shorter when we follow the North Pole. But between Q and P, we follow South Pole. So from P, or from Q, to the South Pole, and down to where P is. This path is shorter than the path along the parallel latitude. So thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link. Thank you.